Okay, just gonna show you guys the glitch I was talking about earlier in the last Banjo Kazooie segment. I'm just gonna show you guys this and go back to Banjo Kazooie. Um, so here, this is how you do it. You go like all like this, and boom. <laughs> That's weird, huh? Okay, but seriously, let's let's get back to our regular schedule, regularly scheduled programming, and I verbally screwed up. Um, I guess I'll get the orange first. I guess it really doesn't matter. And apparently, one cannot do that. Oh, wait, did I already? Crap, forgot about this. I tried this earlier and I screwed up. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't really talk right now. I'm just. This requires a moderate amount of concentration. You have to. You have to hear his, like, throwing sound effect as you're standing on one of the blocks. Because that's dead on where he'll aim. Like I said, I'm going to be getting 9 of the 10 jiggies in this level with the termite because it saves time because you don't have to view Banjo Kazooie's dumb dancing animation whenever they get a. Um. Jiggy and then Kazooie eating it. Alright, let's see if I can do this without getting the Jiggy. Yay. Okay, so this was kind of poor planning on my part, but... Yeah, this was actually really poor planning on my part. Forgot I need to go up to, um... Mumbo's area and learn the... Like, the ground pound move. I forgot what it's called. I can't remember what every move in this game is called. Anyway, um, I'm sorry to my subscribers who I said I'd be doing the Minish Cap. Somebody else gave me an idea to do Banjo Kazooie again, and I decided to do that because. Come on, this game is way less obscure and more fun if you ask me. Alright, so let's just kind of spit some eggs out of a giant ape. It's all the fun of Banjo Kazooie and Ape Escape in one. No, not really. <laughs> That was a really stu- Oh, I forgot that guy threw a second orange the second time he hit him. Okay, so that deals with him. And I'm getting some major sound distortion. Right, hang on, I need to turn down the audio plugin. Holy crap. Okay, much better. Because it was all distorted and stuff. Okay, so... Going back... I hate it when people interrupt me. China, go away! <sighs> well, Alright, ignoring that. She can pick up some eggs here. Um, why do people always seem to come into my room when I'm recording? It's never any time else, like when I'm not doing anything, something that requires a moderate amount of concentration. Anywho, we are now learning the third move in this level, the third and final one, and I hit the bottom of my desk with the controller, so it probably made a loud noise. Um, I'm a little bit more, like, awake in this one due to the fact that caffeine is now in me. Um, I love how, like, like, hostile Bottles and Kazooie are to their, in their dialogue. This is the only jiggy I'm getting, um, with Banjo and Kazooie because you can't get it with the term, I believe me, I've tried. Unless you use some glitch that I don't know about. I don't know. Is this up all the way? And I'm still getting distortion. Hang on. Okay, then. Yeah, that's the one I'm getting here. And these always follow a set order. The first one you hit, oh, notes always come out. It doesn't matter which one you hit. The second one you hit... Go away. The second one you hit always has eggs come out. Um, might as well just run around and collect those. The next one you hit always has an enemy pop out. One of those purple dinosaurs, so I call him Barney. Um, third, the next one you hit always has a Jinjo in it. And that would be the last Jinjo, not hit collecting that yet. Second to last one you hit always has a life pop out. And take a guess what the next one pops out for you. A Jiggy, yay. Um, let's go ahead and destroy Juju. There's actually an empty honeycomb piece above his head, um, that there's a, 
little bit of a trick I didn't know about to get, so I had to start the level over again and get it before I destroy the last head. You have to jump on the last head and get the last honey piece, foam piece from there. Alright, um, and I suck at this, clearly. Oh, come on, I was robbed. Oh, come on, just give that to me, thank you. Alright, so let's go hit the witch switch, and then I can come back up here. Like I said, terrible planning on my part. I guess I still need to get some notes, so I guess it's not horrible, but... Nah. Alright, I should have 90 musical notes out here. There are four in Mumble's Hut and six in the mountain, so... That would be the last of them out here. And I'm not even gonna try. I heard how horrible that was. You don't need to tell me. And he tries to sing anyway. Oh, I forgot the music changes. It's kind of a cool thing. It, the music changes depending on where you are in the level. Anyway, let's just meander our way over here and which one am i forgetting which mama oh i know which one i'm forgetting it's in the mountain you actually need to make a stop into um mum like the actual mountain area and i bumped the controller against the desk twice this time twice anyway um you actually make need to make a stop as in the mumbo's mountain actual mountain uh, before you head into um Mumbo's like hut and get the termite ability because there's a mumbo token in here, but you can't climb these really steep walls as Banjo Kazooie. You need the termite. So yeah, that's all I needed to do in there. And now all that's left is to go transform and get all these jiggies. Hopefully I'll be able to do that by the end of the segment. And that witch switch I hit made a um jiggy or yeah a jiggy pop out of the top of the mountain. Um, outside the level, so let's just talk to Van or Mumbo, who has varying voice because I'm speeding it up. Let's just listen to it for a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I don't have that kind of patience. <sighs> I barely have the patience to wait for my hapa so I can record Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I really wanted to do for a pretty long time, even when I was on my old account because. That was the second, um, GameCube game I ever got. The first, as you can probably guess, is Melee. Third, actually, was Pikmin. Fourth was Metroid Prime. And I don't remember it past then. I was, like, seven when I got my GameCube. That might have been an exaggeration, but whatever. Let's just collect a bunch of jiggies. Yeah. Um... That would be pretty much it for the rest of this level. I already got the ginger one. Yeah. Let's just collect this empty honeycomb piece. And you don't need the ant for it. You can fall off this hill and get lucky, but I'm not very good at that anyway. And besides, the ant, the termite's kind of cool. I call it termite sometimes, ants other times, but whatever. So I need to get one up here. Um, then I need to go down and get. I need to go up the mountain actually too. So why don't I do that now? I'm just kind of getting these jiggies as I think of them. And there, there are a whole three of them over um, by the conga side of Mumbo Mount Mumbo's Mountain. <clears throat> I hope I can get this done in this segment. That'd be cool. Um, this music's kind of funky because it's like different and stuff. Last note to the game, as long as this other termite won't be much of a problem, and usually it is, I'm surprised. Um, uh, you want to kind of stay at the bottom of these platforms, otherwise you hit the ceiling and you won't get enough height to make the next jump, and then you fall all the way down. Okay then, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. I hope this sound's coming through okay. I think it, it usually does, because my settings are like computer full volume TV 27. Yeah, and you don't get hurt at all from falling as this in this form. So, and Mumbo doesn't make another appearance till um, the fourth level, Bubble Goop Swamp, which is actually a pretty cool level. And that would be it for Mumbo's Mountain.
That's all 10 jiggies. We got everything here. 100 notes, 10 jiggies, 2 honeycomb pieces, and only 12 minutes of playing. Okay, then. That's weird, because that's less than both segments combined. Even now. Okay, then. Maybe it was just for me randomly pausing, I don't know. I'm not gonna ask, either. And that would be it from Almost Mountain. I'm just gonna collect the jiggy outside the level, then end, because I'm, like, nearly out of time. And we gotta hear Bottles talk some more, because that's always exciting. Um, sorry, I know I sound annoyed a lot, but I'm not really. It's just, eh. Okay, so next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will be opening up Treasure Trove Cove, so see you next time.